customer drove it straight from the dealership. It's got 10 miles on it. It's a road line. Can you do a blank check or something or what? Pretty much. We're going to show you the Fast Johnny build. So this was basically a brand new Fast Johnny. Mike, I said peace. Yeah. <laughs> to another episode. Uh, we're here at the Tour Custom Cycle Shop. Very special project right here. Um, customer dropped off this bike um, a few weeks back. He gave Mike total... Full creative control. Full creative control. He said, here, the bike is yours. Do what you do, do what you want. And what do you do? Like hand you a blank check or something or what? Um, pretty much I, I put together a list of uh, all the parts and things I wanted to do to it and put the pricing together and handed it to him and about three minutes later after sending it off he said let's do it. So nice. That's where we started. So we, uh, this is obviously a 2023 uh, Road Glide ST. Yep. Um, ton of stuff so I don't know where, where you want to start. This, okay. this, this is your project. Customer drove it straight from the dealership. It's got 10 miles on it. Had 10 miles on it before we had it on the dyno. Nice. Um, but like you said, full creative control. He had really zero input. The only input he had on it was when Peanuts recommended a bronze windshield and he said, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. So, if you want to start here from the front, so what we, uh, we've got Carbon Visionaries carbon front fender uh, on it. We've got the Arlen S big brakes. Uh, it has Olin suspension front and rear. Uh, everything on this bike was color matched to the bronze. To the bronze on the wheels. The bronze on the wheels because we discovered during the powder coating process that the actual lower rockers don't match. The, 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 the stock ones from Harley. Yeah. Yep. They don't, they don't match the wheels perfectly. Nope. They don't match at all, let's put it that way. Okay. So after we found that out, then I stripped back and took the lower rockers off and matched it to the rest. So, so you have that powder coated. Yep. Uh, the bars, the triple tree. Yeah, so the top tree got powder coated along with the pullback plate and the bars. On the Illumicore grips, we powder coated the ends, so it kind of looks like the bar flows through to the end. Um, you powder coated the chachos on the... All the chachos, the extreme chachos on, on for Santoro have all been powder coated to match. Everything is bronze. The levers on the bags as well? Yep. Saddlebag levers. And then we got these cool little magnetic caps from Devil's Head Choppers. So they match the bronze perfectly. They go over the bolts. And stay on. Snap right on and stay on by magnet. Okay. So right in the front, we have the Baja lights, yep. uh, amber and white. I yeah, really, absolutely. really love the way the, the lights look with this color. I think that this is one of the, one of the nicest colors that Harley Davidson ever come out with. It's right. so clean, everything looks good on it. It's just the, the amber and the, and the white just look, look great on it. Yeah, it's an amber and the white lights, and then you got this, uh, you know, I don't, it's a sand dune, I think it's called. Sam, white sand pearl? White sand pearl. So the white sand pearl, and then with bronzing the windshield trim with the black screws and black windshield, it just sets the whole front off. Nice. We've got custom dynamic stern signals in the front. You got the uh, Santoro. Santoro, crash bars, front, front and rear. rear. All controls are, are by Flow Motorsports. So uh, floorboards, brake pedal, lever, shift lever, passenger pegs, and uh, levers are all by Flow Motorsports. Okay. Um, then we got the Lapera tail whip yep. with the diamond stitch on it, all black. Um, looks really nice. I'm surprised you guys didn't go with, with, the, with the bronze stitching. So the reason why we didn't do that is we took so much time to match all the bronze everywhere. If this came in and it wasn't bronze to so match perfectly, it would have yeah. It would have thrown, it, thrown us off, and it was also a timing thing. We had a we had a time to build this bike, and we had to get it done. No okay. problem. Also, we used uh, for the tail. We used eagle. I mean, we'll go around and do some shots. We'll use eagle lights for the tail that go into the uh, little slots there in the tombstones. It's really nice. Okay. 
Here we got the piggybacks, uh, oil and suspension in the back. Um, let's talk about the motor. What, what, what do we got done in the motor? So we just did our basic stage two package in the motor right now. Uh, we put the Star Racing 3030 cam. And we love using Star Racing cams in here, huh? We do. We love Star Racing. And of course, we went in and strengthened the motor the way we usually do. We put the fueling studs and lock nuts at the top. We changed the crank gear over to a fueling crank gear. We've got the SNS pump and plate. We've got the SNS uh, tappet block cuffs, the aluminum ones, getting rid of the plastic stuff that Harley has in there. Nice. Of course, the upgraded cam bearing and, uh, and a full gasket set from fueling. Nice, nice. And then obviously, we, we, you, you set them up perfectly with, with, with a really comfortable position because this, this seat pushes you up by a little bit. Yep. That's something I love about the power seats, really comfortable. But then we also have the Krause uh, setup right here. So tell, tell us about the setup. Right, right so this front. is the Wolf 1 Pro setup uh, with the pullback plate. This is the T-Rex pullback plate. So what we found is the Raptor pullback plate is nice where it'll actually bring it up a little bit higher and give you a little more room. But there's like, it's very difficult the, to make the gauges not block the radio right. or see the whole radio and have some of the gauges blocked off. Gotcha. So the T-Rex blade works the best. Which is, the, that's what probably you guys came across on Peanuts bike, right? Where it was kind of blocking the, the screen. Uh, actually it was Sal's, Sal's bike. Sal's, okay. So Sal actually has the other plate. Um, he's got the Raptor plate and we're actually going to return that. Uh, we're not return, but we're going to swap it out for this, for the T-Rex. Okay. We, uh, it was kind of a, a problem that Krauss had with getting us the black top tree. They were going to be on back order for like three, four weeks. So they said they had the raw one stock. So we were like, you know what? Let's just power cut it. So it was kind of one of those things where it wasn't a mistake, but it was one of those yeah. things where we didn't know how it was going to look and come out. But I think it came out great. Yeah. Um, then we got the, the carbon tank dash. Who's this from? Uh, so the all carbon is from Carbon Visionary. Okay. Um, we've got the tank dash and the front fender. Okay. Uh, something that, that you pointed out to me that kind of that kind of stood out. And it's just so much, you pay a lot of attention to little things. So I know sometimes people, you may take your bikes to get a build somewhere and they're, they're not going to really take the time like you do with stuff like that. So pretty sure you would have taken it somewhere else and they were like, yeah, it, it matches perfectly. But that, that honestly bothered you. Yeah. And you wanted everything to look clean yeah. and nice and match perfectly. The fact that you're taking the extra steps to, to make sure everything matches up perfectly and it looks good. You know, it, it says a lot, um, especially yeah. for a person who's coming in here, dumping a whole bunch of money right. and giving you full creative uh, direction. It's, it's, it's awesome, man. Yeah, and there's, a, there's a lot of other things on the other side of the bike that you can't see right now that were done that aren't normally done. For instance, the horn, the bracket that holds the horn from Harley is chrome. We've had yeah. it coated it black. I mean, this is a blacked out bike. Just li li little things like yeah. that. Kind the, of kick stand, the kickstand's always chrome. The kickstand plate is chrome. Uh, the saddlebag handles are chrome. Yeah. All that stuff's been powder coated, um, and there's a small little plate on the back of yeah. the bike that just holds the saddlebag supports, and you just see two little pieces of chrome stick out. So we took that out too, yeah. and powder coated that black. Where where's this um, gas cap from? I love this. Oh, this is a power plant motorcycle. Um, you can get them on Speed Kings and other companies like that, but this is made by Power Plant. I'm, I'm gonna want to get a, a chrome want for my bike. They do make a chrome one. Yeah, that, that, that looks sick. Uh, we've got also, the, this is the new Vasani 2 into 1 with the larger muffler and this thing sounds incredible. Cold start on this thing, insane. Can we hear it? Yeah. I don't know what you're going to get over the camera, but... Yeah, Pull on it. It's got 45 miles on it now. 
Yeah, so it's not broken in yet. No, so he's going to come back at a thousand. I'll do the first service on it, and we'll do a full dyno at that point. Nice. And we'll see if he wants to add anything after riding the bike for a thousand miles. Yeah, for sure. Right? We also put. Uh, I was just seeing as we were talking. We put the vented trans top cover by Trask on there. We put that on all our builds. Stops a lot of the the blow by, and keeps oil from coming back through the intake into the motor. It really helps. I, and that's one thing I got to order for my bike. Okay. Um, awesome. Yeah. So th there's a few other little things that I could do to the bike. I think we've. Uh, I want the customer to see it and come pick it up and and ride it for a little while, and then let them come back. But I mean. Um, of course, Prodigy Performance Coatings did all the powder coat on this bike and, and knocked it out of the park like always. Nice. You know, they are our go-to for powder coat. Nice. He took a lot of time to, you know, I, I back and forth up there bringing stuff and trying to match and, you know, he, he did good by us on this one. Now, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the same customer that brought you the, the Slim, the right? The Slim for Daytona. And let you do whatever you yep. wanted with those as well. Yeah, this is the second uh, full creative control build. Sick. He's, I guess he kind of tested us out earlier in the year. Yeah. And he liked it, so. Now I'm, this I'm, is what he's got now. And he hasn't seen the bike yet, right? No, he has not. All right. So I've sent him a little bit of snippets, you know, here and there, little little teaser shots, and his reactions have been pretty off the charts. Yeah. It's gonna be sick, man. Um, I'm I'm sure he's gonna love it. Yeah. The bike looks super clean, like I said. Like just the color itself, white sand pearl, which is a beautiful color. Anything and everything looks good on it, but the pieces that were chosen. We're, we're really good. It's a nice clean build. It's not extra too crazy where it just changes the whole bike, but it's just the proper stuff that you're gonna want on a build in order to change a bike, stand out, look special. And um, yeah, man, it looks awesome. Right. Um, guys, if you are in the local area and you do wanna stop by and get some work done to your bike, get your bike dyno, uh, if you wanna order some parts for your bike, or if you wanna come in here with a blank check and give it to Mike, get your build on. You can do that. Uh, I'm gonna be linking up all his description down below. You guys can hit Mike up, Tour Custom Cycles. If you're anywhere in Jersey or if you're out New York, Connecticut, PA, we're all close by. Um, anything else from your hands? Well, if we uh, stay tuned in the next few weeks, we've got another large project on the left over here. Can, can we show them the broken down? Yeah, we can show yeah. the broken down. Like we're gonna show you the Fast Johnny build. All right, so this was basically a brand new Fast Johnny that you took apart yesterday. Yeah. It's got 427 miles. Wow. Um, so this is our next build for the next few weeks, uh, as long as parts come in as, as scheduled. But everything new, well, we, as we, you can see front yeah. to back. On this. We can't really get into the specifics of everything yet, because the bike is not done yet. And once the bike is done, and we get an okay from the owner, then we could do a, a nice little review, uh, walk around video on it. But the amount of stuff, the amount of parts that are behind here that are going to be going on this bike, we're, we're talking about everything. Everything, everything, everything. You can um, almost build a bike from the parts coming off. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, keep an eye on our Instagram for this one, also. Yeah, for sure. Um, all his descriptions will be down below his Instagram. Um, his information, you guys want to get in contact with Mike, get your build done. That's gonna be it. Uh, if you are new to my channel, if you wanna see more content like this, definitely in the right place. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. And that's gonna be it. Peace. I was trying to dial down. Mike, I said peace. Yeah, bitch. <laughs>